Welcome to AP Statistics Chapter 4 Extra Practice Slash Test Review. So the first thing we want to look at is what do we know? So here is a list targeting things that we should know. So we can say got it, almost there, needs some work. So you can look at all of these. There they are. I'm going to leave them. You can freeze this, look at them, and see, do I know this? All right, next up. What's the difference between sampling, surveying, and experimentation? Now, this is important for us to realize that whether we know this or not. Do we know the difference between sampling and surveying? Number one, for sampling and surveying, we're asking people to answer questions. We are hoping using random sampling, we are hoping using random sampling to, this is the we hope, we hope to infer information about the population. Okay? Also, we use probability samples to make sampling valid. Well, what are the sampling probability sample values? Well, let's think about this. Hopefully we know we've got bam, 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 SRS, bam, 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 stratification, stratified, and bam, 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 cluster. And remember, the only one that allows a subset or groups to be used is the SRS. All groups are equal in chance to be chosen. This is the only one. All groups are equal in chance to be chosen. SRS is the only one that allows that. Stratified, we break into groups first, then take SRS within groups. Now remember, we group by similarity. Cluster, we have groups matching the population. We use SRS to choose one and survey all. So that's a big, big, big deal there, you guys. All right, we need to know the differences. Remember, we can also use convenience. We could also use voluntary. We could also use systematic. But these have a lot of bias. So remember that, OK? All right, and then just remember we have our errors and what they are, or our types of bias. So our types of bias, we've got our wording, our non-response, our response. They are not the same, you guys. We have our under coverage. All right. And so we need to keep those in mind. Uh, if we look at experimentation, what are we talking about with experimentation? Hopefully, remember, we hope to show cause and effect. Therefore, random assignment slash allocation must take place or else we're done can't do it okay then remember the three keys 
three keys to experimentation. We have control, randomize, replicate. Keep those in mind. Keep those in mind. And then what are our special types? What three types? We have three types of experiments. So we have to keep those straight. Okay, our three types of experiments are completely randomized, our block design, and matched pairs. And remember, if we can, we try this. If that doesn't work, we try this. If that doesn't work, we do this. But we always follow directions. Always follow directions. So then, got some multiple choice practice for you. Because we've got to try to get this in so that you guys can see lots of different things. So if we're looking at number one. Okay. Okay. So it's the most important reason for this random assignment. What is the most important reason for random assignment is we want to be able to have groups that are easily compared. That's why C is the best answer. Remember, you can pause, read, and then look at my answer. Okay, number two. Biggest thing is, hey, it just mentions they're larger. Really? Well, then I think there might be a lurking variable because... MLB teams are located in bigger areas slash urban areas that have a greater number of people. Number three, research is testing. We have this set up. Remember, you can pause, look at it, and he does one half, other half, boom, match pairs. Number four, we're looking at this. We have beautiful stuff going on, and it says... He randomly selects 15 and then every. Boom, 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 boom. That better be a cluster. That better be a cluster. All right. So if we were looking at this, we've got to take into account the wording. What does it mean? What do our definitions mean? Not number five, 80 volunteers. We're talking about we're using this, we're using this, we're doing this, we're blood pressure measuring before, during, after. We have random assignment. We're switching. So what are we going to hopefully be able to tell? That's C. All right, and then we look at the next one. We have SRS marketing and SRS sales. Hey, those are different groups. What should I be thinking different groups? Stratification, that's D. Okay, then we have one that hopefully you recognize. You've seen this one before, but what's the big deal here? I cannot have more than two males and two females. So here's the deal. Which group doesn't have two males and two females, that is D. So it can't be right. Next up, article in a student newspaper. Results showed higher grades directly corresponded to a more positive evaluation. So do we have an experiment? No experiment. So we've got correlation, not causation. So we can say that this is just C. What about number nine? New cough medicine given to 25 people, and they tell us that their results are blank. Wait a minute. Where's my second group? I don't have one. I don't have another group. I have nothing to compare, so the best answer here is C. All right. And for the last one, number 10, you read, you read, you read, you read, you read. All this means is, hey, what does this mean by definition? And apply it. And hopefully everybody realizes, hey, that's just B. Here we go. All right. So I am confident you guys want just a little bit more. Sorry to make this long, but read carefully, look at it, and say, oh, can we do one, two, three? So stop, read, and I'm going to pause for 10 seconds. Maybe not. And here are the answers. According to the book, and I like the books 
way of doing this. And if you have any questions, you're obviously going to come and see me. But here's A, here's B, and here's C, because this is surveying FRQ. Notice surveying, we talk about how we choose up front. How we choose up front. Remember, you can pause and read. Next. All right. Experiment. What do we have to do here? I told you, completely randomized design. So that means no blocking, no match pairs. Completely randomized design. Give you 90 volunteers. What does that mean if they volunteer? We're not talking about picking people. We're talking about randomly assigning treatments. All right, you're going to try it. You're going to pause. And here's a basic outline. Okay, short, sweet, and to the point. If you understand it, then you're good. If you don't understand it, you're going to come ask questions. You're going to call up your friends. You're going to do something, right? But it shouldn't be horribly, whoa, where did this come from? All right, you guys are ready. You're prepared. Chapter four, rock and roll.